What's up guys? Philip Collin, Pack Pythons, back in the snake pit. Uh, the males have been separated for quite a while. And the reason being is that a bunch of females stalled out. And when I say stalled out, I mean, we did two ultrasoundings. And here's an example. If you look over here in the corner, the second row, you got 419, nine millimeter, 523, also nine millimeter, which means we ultrasounded a month apart. So that's this row and this, these two rows, sorry. Uh, ultrasounded a month apart and she measured exactly the same. Her follicles hadn't regressed, she hadn't reabsorbed, but she wasn't develop developing. Uh, I, at that point, I was feed offering everyone food pretty consistently. And I was also uh, pairing every, if I got a lock, I was pairing every three weeks. If I got no lock, I was pairing every two weeks. And the females were, seemed to be responding to that pretty well. And they were all bowl wrapping and bellies swollen and, you know, had all the uh, lumpy, all the good stuff, right? But if their follicles aren't growing, that's doesn't matter. None of that other crap matters if, if the follicles don't grow. So uh, what we did is we completely stopped pairing, which should reduce stress on the males and the females. And we started offering food more frequently. So we went from every seven days to every five days. Now they're not taking it every five days necessarily, but some of them are. Some of them look like they could eat every four days. They buzzing around. These girls all ate three days ago and there's a bunch in there that are buzzing around because I'm in the garage and they think they're about to get fit. So they can definitely handle the food. And uh, it's still, I'm not offering bigger meals. I'm not offering uh, uh, anything bigger than what they can handle, medium rats. And it's working out really well. Uh, a bunch of the girls seem to be uh, making good progress again and they are behaving properly. So hopefully all of this works. But it's been about a month, well, I say, let's see, 523, and it's the end of, Ju end of June now. So we're over a month that we haven't been pairing. And I put, uh, put pork chop two days ago, I put pork chop here with Lily, and as soon as I put them together, they locked, and the next day I pulled them apart. I didn't separate them. I pulled pork chop out of the cage. He was done, don't worry. <laughs> uh, anyways, so now, uh, now that the females are hopefully had a break and hopefully put some food back in their belly and hopefully started developing follicles, um, time to start putting them together. Pork chop, we can find him a female. I think he's got two or three left that we could potentially put him with. Um, Mojo, my Mojave leopard male. I don't know if I've showed him yet. Uh, he's pretty. Uh, he just finally shed out. He's been in blue for like a week now, and I've been waiting for that. And as soon as that was done, I was going to start mixing them together. And then uh, Butters, my Candino, well, Candy Inchy, possible Candino Inchy. We'll prove that out this season. Uh, and hopefully in about a month and a half, we'll prove it out. Um, he's still not eating great. He's been on and off of food. Uh, he's only mousing right now. He will not touch rats and he won't eat frozen thawed. He's just being stubborn as hell. Um, but yesterday I finally got him to eat two adult mice, which is the first decent sized meal he's had in months. And he was starting to look really skinny. I was about to bring him to the vet. Uh, he definitely lost some body weight. Just all he wants to do is get up here with these girls, uh, which I don't blame him. He was having a good time. <laughs> nothing to, nothing to run away from he was he was living living the best life a snake could possibly live but he's finally got some good food in him i'm gonna wait and feed him again probably in about five days and try to get him to eat two more and once i can get two three hopefully three good meals in him then i'll probably start rotating him back in as long as he's starting to look more healthy and full because i only need him probably another month so you're only talking about three or four more pairings uh, 
to have him hooked up for the season and then he can sit back for the next six months and not do anything. Uh, so we'll play that by ear and see how it goes. Hopefully we can get him to keep eating food. But for now, let's go ahead and pull out uh, the, 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 uh, gotcha. All right, so now we're gonna pull out, oh, let's do some research here. Uh, this is Mojo. Mojo has been paired with Jelly Bean, who is my spinner possible cypress. She is not eating, so she would be a good candidate to put them with. I know she's developing follicles because she had a big jump between the two ultrasounds, eight mil to 20 millimeter, really good. And the fact that she's not eating means that uh, it doesn't matter if I don't put them or put them, uh, he is, or she is, uh, she's not gonna take food either way. So I might as well pair them. Uh, that's my logic on it. Uh, another girl he's been with is Honey. Honey was eating, but now she stopped eating. So that's another good one I could put them with. Uh, Jelly Bean was last paired on 513 with him, had a good lock. Uh, Honey was last paired on 521, so that's uh, eight days, it's a whole week more recently. So, and then they had a good lock. So if I had to pick between these two of who I'm gonna put them with, I'm gonna put them with the one who he locked uh, furthest back, which is gonna be Jelly Bean. But uh, there's more girls we can put them with, so let's see who else we have. Uh, these are all albinos. This was a normal. This is one he went with. This is Lola. She was eating really well and then stopped eating again. So again, we could have her getting back to building follicles. His last, her last pairing was on 512 with Mojo, which compared to uh, this one, this one was 513. So again, here's another one that's a little bit further back. Uh, she was stalled out with her uh, follicle growth. So, hmm, what do I do? Uh, I'm kind of hoping I can get another meal in Lola before I, I give in and start pairing her again. But breeding might do her good. I don't know. She stopped eating. Maybe putting them in there would help. We'll see. I think I'm gonna do that. We're gonna do an experiment. Cause I'm almost certain if I put him with either of these two girls, he's gonna lock. They've all been eating and growing and developing follicles. They haven't given me any issues at all this season. So I'm not gonna worry about them. Let's give Lola, uh, let's give Mojo to Lola and see if that helps out. Uh, and gets her maybe back on food or she might be ready to go and start developing follicles. So then pork chop, he's the next one. Uh, well, let's go ahead and Go ahead and pair. Here's Lola. Hey, pretty girl. She's just a big normal. I tried offering her some uh, a live rat yesterday just to see if she'd take it because she normally eats frozen. But uh, when she goes off of food, normally if I offer her a live, she'll take it too. Um, here is Mojo. What's up, brother? He had a, his fresh uh, shed was in the tub this morning whenever I first checked. Ooh, what you want? Oh, no, 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 no. I got a girl for you, buddy. Come here. Come here, come here, come here. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Ooh, what's that? So again, he's a, a leopard Mojave male. Really pretty. Love that pattern. Let's see what they do. Just kind of flop them right on top. Let him do his thing. Pretty dope. And that's it. And if you notice, actually, the little bit of crap you see in there is from that rat I tried offering her yesterday. But, and there's a little bit of discoloration on the paper towel um, from her making a little bit of a mess, but not too much. And in my experience, while 
it's not very much experience, but the little bit of experience I have, and from what I've seen other YouTubers talk about on YouTube, uh, when you're gonna pair a male to a female, if you leave a little bit of her funk in there and get the humidity up, that it actually, the pheromones and the, you know, the chemicals in the, the waste or whatever, it just kind of heightens all of the male senses and causes them to be, it's like perfume, you know? So leave a little bit of her perfume in there. The humidity is good and high. I can see that on the tub. Um, and typically when I have a male moved into a female's tub, what I'll do is I'll leave the tub open, not this open, I'll close it back some. And then I'll take his card, which he doesn't have a card, I need to make him one. But I'll take his card like this one, and I'll take it and I'll just stuff it right there at an angle. And I'll come right here on her card, and I'll put the next date, which is today's date, which I don't know. So I'm gonna check that after I get out of here. Put down the date, I just write it in pen, I write the date in pen, and if they if I catch them locked, I'll highlight over it in green. So all these green highlights are good locks, confirmed locks. So, anyways, so they're together. Uh, let me close this back, and then let's real quick look for somebody to go with pork chop, and then I'll call this video good. Let's see, pork chop has already had babies by Luna, Lulu, and this was Lisa's spot. Unfortunately, she is gone, uh, but he had babies by her. Uh, and then we just had a good lock with Lily, which is his fourth female. And then I, once the other female started laying and he was done pairing there, I got a wild hair and decided to try to put him with, uh, Peppa, who's my het orange ghost, to try to produce some possible double head ghost pied stuff. Good morning. Good morning, Wyatt. Say hi. Sorry about that, my phone rang. God dang it. Gotta turn this thing on Do Not Disturb when I record. Uh, so, got a wild hair to make some double head stuff. So, he has it paired with her since 513, which has been about a month and a half. And she is not eating right now. So let's go ahead and throw them in there. See what happens. Where's your head at? Da -da -da. There she is. Look how pretty. That, or that head orange ghost stuff, man. It's killer. It's crazy how much that shows through. He ate it? Let me see. All right. Good job, Peanut. Peanut ate her mouse last night. <laughs> My son loves that. Watch out, back up, baby. Let's get pork chop. There's pork chop. Come here, buddy. Pork chop, again, is a scaleless head hip pied. His scaleless head is, I would call it pretty low expression. I've had other people tell me that's not the case. And she looks like she's ready to hang out. Do, do, do. Hold on, baby. All right. So that's it. So the two males that we're going to pair are paired. Hold on, baby. One second. The two males we're going to pair are paired. We are done for the morning. Butters, as soon as he eats a couple more times. Buddy, yo, get your hand out of there. Get your hand out of there. No, sir. It's gonna bite your finger. Don't do that, silly. It's okay. Give me one minute. <laughs> this dude, he loves his snakes, man. He's wild. He loves them. That's the first time he's ever opened a tub on his own. So I have to keep a better eye on him. Uh, ugh. They're paired. Butters. Needs to eat a couple more times, and then he will be back in the mix for a couple weeks. But that's it for today. Thank y'all for watching.
Peace. Check it out. That right there, wait, here we go, bam. That right there is a lock. So that's pepper and pork chop. Making some, hopefully, making some double head, some scaleless head, double head pied orange ghost. Pretty dope stuff, anyways. Let's see what else we got. Uh, the other one was Lily. No, not Lily. Um, Lola. She's probably not. No. Nope, no luck. They're just hanging out, so. Yeah, back in there. Anyways, thought I'd update y'all. See that our, our hard work paid off. Uh, you guys take it easy. Appreciate you watching. Have a good day. Bye.